Welcome back to Press here. Silicon Valley's Tech Museum of Innovation, or the Tech, as locals call it, has a unique challenge. It, unlike any other museum in the world, has to stay ahead of its own visitors. A tech museum of innovation needs to show you what you don't already know. It's an incredible challenge, considering many museum visitors work in tech themselves. Often what you've seen is in an exhibit not necessarily as amazing as the new smartphone in your pocket. Now to solve that, the tech plans to shut down and restart the $50 million reboot to become an entirely different museum. Tim Ritchie is on, is the new president of the tech, among other things. He is a former death row lawyer when he was a law student. He came from the, to the tech rather, from a science museum in Alabama. I have loved the tech for, what is it, better than 10 years now that it's been in that location. 1998. Uh, yeah. My goodness. Uh, we, NBC, has had a, a close relationship with the tech. That's always struck me as the problem is there is an engineer at Apple who's working on that new Apple Watch, he can't tell anybody, who brings his family to the tech, <laughs> and he's got more things than you're going to have as far as displaying the tech of Silicon Valley. So the question is, is it the tech museum of innovation? Do you focus on the tech or the innovation? And after 13 years of working on this, we've realized the spirit of Silicon Valley is more about innovation than about tech. Now, you'll still come to the new tech and see plenty of innovation, but that cell phone you're talking right. about, we will break it apart. And we will have, you'll be able to see the guts of it and, and the constituent parts and see how tech is used to solve problems. So the whole focus will be on innovation and how tech can be used to solve problems rather than seeing the latest and the greatest. You, you've been tech president for uh, about a year now. Yeah. That'd be mm -hmm. about right. Was this something that you thought all along when I get to be the, the president, when I come up to, or over rather, to Sil uh, Silicon Valley, this is what I'm going to do? Or did you sit there for a year and say, what do we need to do? Yeah, so I didn't think about it all along. I went right back to the mission, and the mission is to inspire the innovator in everyone. Mm. So it's all about inspiring innovation, and the question always for me is, are we doing something that would be inspiring, in this case, to inspire the innovator? And walking around that mission made me realize very quickly that really what is inspiring to people is solving problems. And so to use technology to solve problems in innovative ways, that's what we should be about. And then once that was clear, it was very clear that what we needed to be about was designing lots of problems for people to solve on the floor mm. in innovative ways. And that is going to lead to a whole different kind of museum. Is, it, is making the change partially the competition you face? There are a lot of tech museums in this area to, to stand outside and be different from the competition. Yeah, not at all. We feel like we're collaborative with everyone. So there's 7 million people in the Bay Area. There's 4 million people that live south of uh, Palo Alto, as I understand it. So it's not that we're in competition. The question is, what difference should we make because we're in Silicon Valley? The Exploratorium just, just reopened, I mean, right. this, this past week. And it's I haven't been there yet. But Exploratorium was pretty spectacular, mm -hmm. even before yeah. so you that isn't a competitor to you let yeah. I'll, I'll, let's right. let's make that a given okay that's not a competitor to you how are you going to be different than the Exploratorium right. then? So the Exploratorium is clearly our partner. They're about basic sciences. And what you learn at the Exploratorium, and I have been to the new one and it's spectacular, you learn that the world is wonderful. And you learn how the world is put together in beautiful ways. When you come to the tech, you're going to learn about how you are wonderful because you can solve problems using applied technology. So we have a very narrow focus. Our narrow focus is museum as resource for innovation. The Exploratorium in a more traditional sense is museum as teacher. In some cases it's museum as entertainer. But we want to be a, a place where there's lots of resources so what you bring to the table is as important as what we give you. So, sorry to sound a slightly cynical note here but yeah. it, it, maybe you know, I, I assume you're on some big fundraising push and some people would say well in museums these days it's tough when they want to raise money you know, because of all the technology and yeah. stuff. It, 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 people don't, they're not that interested now. So to come up with some great new idea is just a perfect opportunity to go yeah. out and, and, and get some cash. Is, is that what this is about? Well, so it's really about a very old idea. It's, it's not a new idea. It's coming back to the beginning. So what this community needs 
And what every community needs is to invigorate innovation. So people deeply believe and understand that only the most innovative communities will thrive in a competitive age. Only the most innovative individuals will. So it's not at all about needing to raise money. It's about trying to fulfill a very serious mission. But I think one of the, the troubles that you've had, uh, or not you, but the museum over the years has had, is there's plenty of innovation. Right. You just go right. to one infinite loop and there's right. you find the innovation. It's reflecting that in the tech museum itself. Right. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to have a series of design challenges, especially in our lower level, where you will come in and you will be given the challenge to experience what it's like to come up with a solution. So the first one will start this summer, which is to design a social robot. And you will be given all the tools and the kits, kit of parts to design a really very powerful robot. A young visitor can do it by just hooking together two wires. Mm -hmm. Someone who has more experience can actually do some coding, designing. You can create a caretaker robot. Then the next one will be on the digital me. And you will be given all the parts of a cell phone, accelerometers, cameras, microphones, sensors. Literally, the Literally. actual pieces. Literally. Yeah. And you will be challenged to design an app to give you biofeedback. And then there will be one in cybersecurity, and on and on and on. You've, you've, you've recently partnered with Make Magazine, and I think anybody who's watched this television show mm -hmm. knows I'm a huge fan of Make Magazine, yeah. and Dale Doherty's been on, I don't know, three, four times now. Th that's the sort of mentality, that's right? The is the you can build it yourself, figure out where why it doesn't work sort of thing. Right. Uh, you become a workshop in addition to a museum. Right. And the important thing, too, is what this sets us up for. Imagine the tools you have now. Abundant Wi-Fi, lots of electricity, movable tables, CN, uh, CNC routers, 3D printers. All those tools that we use for visitors by day, then we shut down at 6 o'clock, the museum closes, we open it up, and we be become community-facing by night. So then we become the coolest 30,000-square-foot hacker space in the world. Oh, this is very tech shop. This is yeah. it's, it's my tech, tech shop. It's down the street from it's the tech shop. Yeah, let me point it's out. It's precursor. Yes. So this is more like we will have the, the you know the great coffee, the great food, and the students, the thirty thousand students from San Jose State University can come over. They work on their school projects. So it's not so much about the three D printers and the CNC routers. It's more about creating a space, space. where collaboration yeah. happens. Martin, socialization you can get a quick one in. I mean, is, is there anything left of the the history here? I mean, it's all great playing with these things. But what about Silicon Valley's wonderful history? Yeah. How is that going to be reflected? So that's our partner at the community, uh, Computer History Museum. So go there for that, history. You want history? Go, go there. Go the, You want there for they history? They do it well. You they want do it really well. They do Great, they're our partner. You want to find the innovator in you, that. you come to us. All right, Tim Ritchie is the president of the Tech Museum. Thank you for being with us this morning. Pleasure, thanks. Press here will be back in just a minute.